Shah have been in a sound understanding. I know nothing about Mr. Pembroke. No? This is a personal business, Mr. Martin. I run it by myself. And while I was in Rome, this office was shut. I see. You didn't by any chance leave your keys with anyone while you were away? No, I have the only set, and they were with me. Good day. Oh. Well, uh, thank you for being so very cooperative. Should you want to get in touch with me, my address is on the back of my card. Get anything? Nothing to hang your hat on. Hey, Tom, the next time you want a peer's directory, you better go for yourself. I see what you mean. Do you know there are lords in there that go back to William the Conqueror? No, I didn't, but I'll take your word for it. How about Lady Hawksley? Where's her house? Near Guildford. Mm. Oh, it's not a house. It's a seat. Good. Let's go and sit down. Sorry. <laughs> How do you do, Lady Hawksley? Oh, well... Well, this uh, is a very pleasant surprise. Oh? I hadn't expected anyone quite so uh, young and uh, beautiful. No? I expected more the traditional type, you know, complete with lace and lorgnette. Oh, really? More like the old family dragon. Possibly more like me, Mr... Um... Martin. Uh, yes, Martin. Uh, not at all like you, Lady Hawksley. Uh, somebody completely devoid of your distinction and charm. I see you've already met my secretary, Miss Larson. Indeed I have. I'm afraid I rather monopolized the conversation. Not at all. It was very uh, amusing. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, that's all right, Jean. Unless, of course, Not Mr. Martin Not at all, Lady Hawksley. I uh, just wanted to talk to you about your husband's stamp collection. Oh, I'm afraid I know nothing whatever about stamps. Oh, that's a pity. I was hoping you'd be able to help me. I uh, have a rather valuable specimen here. Yes, indeed you have. It's a Barbados overprint. You're too modest. I thought you said you didn't know anything about these things. What I know about stamps, Mr... B uh, Martin. Uh, Martin, could be written on the back of one. Yet you recognize this one. Oh, well, that's hardly surprising. My husband had one as the centerpiece of his collection. He never stopped talking about it. You said he had one. Uh, does the past tense indicate that the stamp has been sold? It indicates that my husband is dead. I'm sorry. But the stamp is still here in the collection? Yes. Could I see it? The collection is very valuable, Mr. Rebberg. Um, Martin. Martin, I'm sure you will agree that it would be most imprudent of me to open the safe for any stranger to have a look at it. Well, I quite agree with you. But believe me, this is not idle curiosity. Oh, then what is it? I don't want to worry you unduly, but this stamp which recently came into my possession is believed to have come from your collection. Oh, that's preposterous. Miss Larson. Yes? Uh, Mr. Uh, Martin. Martin. Uh, Martin refuses to accept my word that the overprint is here. Oh, now, please, I didn't say that. Well, I can assure you it was in the safe ever since valuation. Valuation? To oh. assess death duty on the estate. A vicious tax, but one which must be paid. I quite understand. And you're sure the stamp was returned? Oh. Positive. Quite, quite positive. Oh. Uh, may I ask you one last question? Naturally. Who made the valuation? A man my husband had dealt with for years and in whom he had the greatest confidence. Mr. Robert... Colwyn. Uh, uh, yes. Oh, well, thank you very much. I'm sorry to have caused you so much trouble. Not at all. I'll show you out. Thank you. Anything interesting? Uh-huh. Blonde, blue eyes. Five foot four, about 126 very attractive pounds, delightfully distributed. What, the old dame? Oh. Why, Geoffrey, I thought you'd gone to London. I changed my plans. Do you mind? Oh, as if it would make any difference whether I minded or not. All right, Miss Larson, you can leave these with me. I think you'll find everything in order. Mm. 
I'd be grateful if you would respect my presence, Geoffrey. Anything you say, Aunt. By the way, who is your visitor? Oh, uh, Mr. Um, uh, Martin. What does he want? Something about the Barbados overprint. What about it? He merely wanted to compare it with one he has. Uh. Cable from America. <clears throat> Warburg and Oklahoma stamps, both from the Coburn Agency, signed J.D. Everly. Someone's sure been milking that golden goose. You've got your animals mixed up. Then, um, on the other hand, you could be right. Don't start all that again. Uh, Barney, when I first met you, you were the proud possessor of an equal range of skeleton keys. Them days are gone. And the keys? Well, I... Uh-huh. I did keep them. But only for sentimental value. Good, we're going to need them. They can get you into trouble. They can also get us into Coburn's office. Yeah. Yes. If Coburn's mixed up in this, I can't see him keeping anything in the office safe. Can you? Why not? It's the logical place. Got a paper? Little Bella won the big race. 20 to 1. Sucker's money. Were you on it? I was a sucker. I've got to do the crossword puzzle now. No. Little Bella. Now? Me, not you. Keep an eye open here. And uh, don't bang the furniture around. Barney, here we go. Come on, Tom. Well, well, well. Another very pleasant surprise. I must apologize. I persuaded the porter to let me in. You obviously have very winning ways. Mr. Martin, I must see you. I feel there's something I think you should know. There's a great deal I should know. Barney, some dry martinis. Now, uh, tell me all about it. It's a little difficult. I don't quite know how to start. But tell me, why are you interested in the Barbados overprint? Well, let's say uh, a client of mine just bought one, and now... Uh, doubts its authenticity. Does that make sense? Yes, I think it does. Hmm. Thank you. Why don't we sit down? Now, Miss Larson, 
Well, it's about the valuation, you see. It was Lady Hawksley's nephew who took the stamp up to Coburn's. Is that so very important? <laughs> if you know Geoffrey Blake, it is. You did say Blake. That's right. And he's Lady Hawksley's nephew? Yes. Barney, get the stamp out of the safe, will you? Right. You said it was returned, remember? Oh, yes, it was up there when they came back from Coburn's. Hmm. Does Blake have any keys to the safe? No, I don't think so. This is the stamp which I have reason to believe is counterfeit. Do you know enough about it to give an opinion? I'm afraid not. It would look the real thing to me. That's the whole point about fakes. But I must say, this is a wonderful job. Are you sure it is a fake? How can one be sure about anything? Well, why not take it to an expert? That's what I intend to do. Are you sure it'll be all right, though? Safer than a safe, miss. That's you easy to open. <laughs> it's a very expert job, or else they used a duplicate key. The safe isn't damaged in any way. You're positive there's nothing missing, Mr. Coburn. I've checked it through twice, Inspector. Strange. Why? I only use it for stamps. And it's not everyone who knows the value of them. But the mere fact that they were in a safe would tell a thief that they were of some value. Yet none were taken. Then I can give no explanation. Will you find anything? Not much, sir. No sign of forced entry or fingerprints. But there appears to have been a scuffle outside. Oh. I found this in the overturned paper basket. Have you had any unusual visitors recently, Mr. Coburn? A stranger, perhaps? I know. I don't think oh, so. Um, is this man a frequent caller? Oh, yes, yes, of oh. course. I remember him now. He was representing some American stamp entries. He was going... Yes, that's all right, thank you, Mr. Coburn. That's all I wanted to know. You know him? Very well, indeed. Well, I'll let you know if there are any further developments. Tom Martin. You know, that name sounds familiar. Familiar is an understatement. You heard of a character called the Duke? Of course. Isn't he some sort of an investigator? Yes, the trouble is you never know on which side of the law he's investigating. Did you get it? Tom, I've got another idea. Yes? If you stand on the corner of Piccadilly Circus, they say sooner or later the whole of London passes by. Now, all we've got to do is look for a man with a big head. Size 8. Size 8? With the initials SG. Uh, yes. Yes, that'll be very simple. Hello. That only goes to show you, Barney, that our friend S.G. may not have such a big head after all. Town hall dance, an evening of square dancing. It's just a handbill. No, they don't make handbills this size. Why well, do they kind of make that one? Now, this is a pull. <laughs> this leg pull. A printer's pull, Barney. A first proof to make sure it's okay before they go ahead printing the leaflets. Oh, sure. Yes, but this is very interesting. Very interesting. You don't mean we're going square dancing? Yes, Barney. That's precisely what I don't mean. In this case, the pull was made by the Ajax Printing Works, London SE1. Barney Wilson, what are you doing here? Oh, just minding my own business, Inspector. Does Fingers know you're using his apartment? Oh, you won't mind. We're old workmates. Uh, shipmates. Well, well. Look who's here. Hello, Taylor. If uh, this is a reception committee, you're late. I flew in yesterday. You haven't wasted much time either, Martin. Why, Inspector, what do you mean? It's just that you get around. Isn't that what vacations are for? I've seen Buckingham Palace, St. Paul's, the Tower. Oh, and incidentally, I think you London police are wonderful. Oh, I'll convey your appreciation to the Commissioner. Sure, he'll be delighted. Tell me, Martin. Where were you last night? In bed. Sure you weren't sleepwalking? No. Not even by accident. Come on, now what are you really over here for? Sightseeing, going gay in the big city. Take care you don't get your fingers burnt. Thanks for the tip. Oh, uh, Barney, go and get me some cigarettes, will you? But I've got uh, some. Barney, cigarettes. Huh? Thanks. Tell me, Martin. You interested in stamps? Stamps? Oh, yes, I never sent a letter without one. I mean rare stamps. Oh, that's uh, Phil 